Good day. In today's video, I will guide you how to sell the GeoQ CCTV with the V3020 Pro APP. Okay, first we have to plug in the USB power plug cable and then we switch on. Wait for the CCTV completely start out. You will hear a voice prompt with the access point ready, access point establishing. As long as you hear the access point, access point, the CCTV Wi Fi hotspot is built out. Okay, why we need to use our phone to connect with the CCTV Wi Fi? Because the CCTV do not provide any cable to connect with our phone. Yes, now you hear the voice point, access point ready, access point establishing. Now you are ready to pair with your phone. Okay, take out your phone and then go to the setting. By default, our phone is connected with our home internet Wi-Fi. You can see my Wi-Fi is connected. Okay, what I need to do now is forget my network first. Why I need to do this? Because I prevent my phone keep connect back to my home internet Wi-Fi. Because I now I want to pair with this CCTV. And instruct the CCTV to online later. So I need to forget my home internet Wi-Fi first. I click on this and then look for the forget network. Okay. Okay, now I want to check this CCTV Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, you can see at the bottom is a 279, right? Okay, 279, this one is the CCTV Wi-Fi hotspot. So we cannot connect on it. Wait for the connected. Okay, you can see it's connected right now. And new Android phone will prompt you whether you want to stay connect or not because the Wi-Fi hotspot that you connected do not provide any internet data. You don't have to worry because for sure it do not provide any internet data because it's a Wi-Fi to pair with your phone only. So we need to keep stay or connect. Okay. As long as your phone is connected, connected with the CCTV Wi-Fi hotspot, you are doing right. So what you need to do now is uh, open V380 Pro. If you haven't downloaded yet, please download one. Open the V380 Pro, you open it. First time will prompt you whatever prompt you click allow. Okay. And now you can register an account later, you don't need to worry. So now we try without an account first. Continue. Okay, you can see. When you come to this page, as long as you connect with the MV, do not scan. Uh, do not scan as long as you see the m do you connect your phone connect with the mv you will see a prompt here you can click connect if you do not see the prompt here no worry you can see as long as your phone is connect with the cctv wi-fi hotspot what you need to do now refresh only 279 appear here okay it's quite easy this is the Phone direct connect with the CCTV, but not through internet data yet. Your CCTV are not online yet, but you can use it as recording. So first time viewing, CCTV will prompt you to set the password. Original password is empty. You can see user admin password blank. Okay, original password is empty. So you need to set the password. First time viewing, the APP will prompt you to set the password. So we have to set the password. I said the password is ABC123. Okay, I said the password is ABC123, then I click confirm. And now I want to start view. View the picture. Okay. I can control. Okay, you can see my hand. I can control. This is a CCTV control. Right? Okay. This is good if you connect on the MV. You can use this as offline recorder. If your home do not have any internet Wi-Fi, but you want to use this as recorder, you can use this CCTV. Just do until this step. This step we known as AP mode. Access point mode, okay. Remember this point we known as access point mode because your phone is direct connect with the CCTV Wi-Fi hotspot. Okay, you can control from here. Okay, you can see your network is a uh, MV, MV, right? This is the MV. You can, you can do a recording. Insert the memory card. Insert the memory card here. 
every CCTV have a memory card slot, so you insert the memory card, you can set all the settings from here. If you want to play back the CCTV, play back the CCTV, you just click on the replay button. Replay button, okay, this one function, you can explore it later. And right now, I want to teach you how to make your CCTV online. Online, your CCTV online. Okay, you click on the setting icon. Okay, you can see the network, right? Okay, network. You see, change to Wi-Fi station mode. Okay, now we want to do the Wi-Fi station mode to make your CCTV get the permission from your home internet router so that your CCTV online, even you go outside overseas, you can watch live. Okay, change to Wi-Fi station mode. Click here. Wait for the your Wi-Fi list appear here. Okay, you can see. You do not connect on the MV anymore. Eh? LOE, my home Wi-Fi. Okay, you can see my home Wi-Fi. You need to connect with your home internet Wi-Fi at 2.4G frequency. Okay, not the 5G. Nowadays, Unify have a 5G and 2.4G. The new router have these two modes. First time set out the CCTV, you need to connect on 2.4G. Okay, my home Wi-Fi is 2.4G, so I just select my home internet Wi-Fi and then I key in my password. Okay, G O Q one two three four five. I double check my password first. Okay, as long as my home internet Wi-Fi password is correct, so I click confirm. This is confirm button, and you will hear a voice form from the CCTV. Wi-Fi connecting, okay? And wait for the success. Wi-Fi connected. We need to hear this Wi-Fi form. Wi-Fi connected. Just a moment. One moment. Yes, as long as you hear the voice bomb, Wi-Fi connected, your CCTV are now online, okay? So what you need to do now is, your phone, you can see, do not connect on, on any Wi-Fi anymore, and the MV for the 279 is no longer appear at this, because your CCTV is online right now. So what you need to do now is, okay, refresh, you connect back with your home internet Wi-Fi, key in your home internet Wi-Fi password, and now we want to test the CCTV. You can see, I am now connect with my home internet Wi-Fi. Okay. So now we want to view the CCTV. CCTV is online. We view the picture. Okay. Okay. It can control, right? Okay. So now I want to test my phone data. Okay. I turn off the phone data. You try to look at here, there's no longer a Wi-Fi icon, but have a 4G icon here. Okay, so now I want to click. Okay, this is using the phone data. Phone data. Everything is ready. Thank you for watching.